and welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. Uh, I'm Andrew Kraft. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, let's move on to some more uh, of these top headlines here. We're going to focus our efforts now uh, there in New York City. Well, this is what we know. Let's follow up on a story we brought you earlier this week. New York City Mayor Eric Adams arrived today at federal court in Manhattan to surrender to authorities after federal prosecutors announced a five count indictment on fraud, bribery, and corruption charges. He pleaded not guilty today. Fox News correspondent C.B. Cotton with more. Yo, what's popping, Rick Mill family? As you can see, we got another installment of what's going on in New York. Eric Adams, another conspiracy. Well, we're going to find out. Let's stay tuned, find out the facts. We're going to be following this case mostly through all the way. So appreciate everybody that's dropping in. Let's go ahead and watch this video all the way through and let's see what's going on with Mayor Adams and these allegations. Let's go. Eric Adams has become the first sitting mayor of New York City to be arraigned on criminal charges. Adams arriving here at the courthouse earlier today with a massive media presence looking on. Prosecutors say for years he traded favors with foreign countries, including Turkey, in exchange for political influence. The mayor pleaded not guilty to all five counts, and his legal team says the accusations are political. You can almost picture them trying to cobble this together and try to, to try to tell a story so that they could say corruption, corruption at this press conference. And, you know, they do that to tarnish him in your eyes. Prosecutors are accusing Adams of bribery, wire fraud, and seeking illegal campaign donations, alleging he accepted free or heavily discounted overseas trips valued at more than $100,000. Adams says that's not true, but at City Hall, calls for his resignation are growing louder. I hope that he will do the right thing for the city and the right thing for New Yorkers and step down. Eric Adams is a disgraceful human being and a criminal, and if he loved New York City, he would resign. But if Adams does not step down, the focus would turn to New York Governor Kathy Hochul, a political ally who has the power to remove him from office. She says she's reviewing the charges, but won't be rushed into a decision. I will be deliberative, I'll be thoughtful, but we're going to come to the right resolution on what to do in this moment. The mayor is facing up to 45 years in prison if convicted on all the counts. In New York, C.B. Cotton, Fox News. C.B., thanks so much. Uh, according to Politico, uh, on the Governor Hochul front here, Politico reports that lawyers in Hochul's office internally discuss the legal and constitutional framework for removing an elected official. So it seems like those discussions are being had uh, if Adams does not resign. Well, Adams and his lawyer spoke briefly outside the courthouse today after this arraignment. Let's listen. Good afternoon. The mayor entered a plea of not guilty. He's innocent. The second thing that happened in court today is that we let the court know that next week we'll be filing a motion to dismiss. We expect these charges to be dismissed. You all remember the Brian Benjamin case, similar shaky theory, that case was dismissed. Same prosecutors, same theory, but the spectacle of this so exciting to them that they wanted to bring another one of these cases. This case isn't even a real case. This is the airline upgrade corruption case. The third thing we said is that we demand that they bring exculpatory information and in the discovery to court on Wednesday. As you know from looking at the indictment and from what happened in court, there are no emails, text messages, or any corroboration whatsoever that the mayor knew about anything having to do with these campaign donations. The entire body of evidence is one staffer, one staffer that says there was a conversation. What you have not learned is that that staffer has lied and the government is in possession of that lie. When that staffer was first interviewed, that staffer said that Mayor Adams knew nothing about this, he was not involved in this, and that he is innocent. They have that information. They have not turned that over to us. They have not turned that over to you. And so it sort of does not surprise us that they did not answer any questions at that press conference, their little press conference the other day. They have no answer for any of these questions. And they didn't want to stick around from questions either. Questions like, why are they doing this? Why are they targeting him? The questions you all started to ask as they were leaving. They normally answer questions. They didn't want to stay for questions in. 
So what's your thoughts on that, man? Because as you know, a, a lot of people have been saying like, the issue with this whole case or rumors, of course, allegedly, is that because he stopped supporting the Biden administration in regards to the immigration crisis and he started to rebel that this is the reason why this is occurring now. We don't know how true that is because there's not much evidence being provided, only the on indictment. I guess we're going to get more information. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of hard not to pay attention to stuff like this that's going on, especially when you're seeing it happening in multiple different states and multiple different counties where it may not be to the same degree or the same type of corruption, but it's still corruption nevertheless. So it makes you wonder what's going on behind closed doors with the, the people that are running the government, running these like with, with these businesses being able to get these lucrative deals and what's really happening? Like, are, are these properties really happening? Let's lock in more. Let's see what else is going on. In this case, and they left and they made this assertion or this, they implied that somehow he's disappointing people or that people ought to be disappointed in him. It's not him doing this. It's the government, the other government that everybody should be disappointed in bringing this case against the sitting mayor. I don't have anything further today, um, and thank you all. If Hope calls on you to resign, will you? All right, so there you were listening to uh, Mayor Eric Adams's uh, attorney there outside the federal courthouse in Manhattan. Let's bring into the conversation someone who's been following this story uh, ever since it broke. That's, of course, our friend there, Mike Sisak at the Associated Press. He joins me. Um, Mike, thanks for being with us here. Uh, I know you're extremely slammed with this story. Um, let's talk about the indictment first. There were so many elements and pieces of it that, you know, frankly, a lot of people were making fun of on social media that uh, all this seemingly was done out in the open here. What struck out to you in the indictment specifically about the nature of the alleged crimes, Mike? Yeah, I think the first thing is how uh, far back it reaches in Eric Adams' career. You know, Adams was a uh, police officer, police captain. He then moved into politics and was, before becoming mayor, uh, borough president in Brooklyn. In New York City, each borough has a president that is sort of the, the unofficial or official, I guess, leader of the borough, although it's a little bit wonky in structure. And in about 2015, according to prosecutors, he made these connections with a Turkish official and then later on uh, Turkish business people, um, at Turkish airlines uh, uh, personnel, uh, and started receiving uh, what prosecutors say were these gifts, right? So looking back, this was you know nine, almost 10 years ago. Um, and then ultimately he becomes mayor uh, in, he's elected in 21, becomes mayor in 22, and that's when- Yeah, that's what's crazy to me is that they knew, they knew that these things were occurring nine, 10 years ago and they let it slide. Why? Like, just why? I mean, it, that doesn't make any sense to me. But why bring it up now on top of that? The prosecutors allege um, he was repaying uh, these favors, these alleged favors, uh, that he was helping, uh, you know, usher in the consulate uh, through the through the fire inspection process. Um, so that was that was something that stood out. Um, and as you said, out in the open, in the sense that we knew. Eric Adams liked to travel. The big question was who was paying for that travel. He uh, did not answer that when asked repeatedly by reporters. Um, and we also knew that this investigation had been going on for some time, months and months. Uh, you know, it was last year that his phones were taken by uh, federal agents. Other people in his inner circle had been uh, searched and subpoenaed as well. Um, so, Mike, I wanted to ask too, though. Um... What do you make, though, of Adams's kind of temperament and posture about how he's been going through all of this? I mean, on Thursday night, of course, so many reporters were outside Gracie Mansion there. Uh, and, and a lot of his longtime advisors, longtime confidants and friends, um, they were with him that night. And then, of course, the indictment was unsealed the next day, the arraignment today here. Um, what do you make of his posture throughout this uh, his spirit seems like it's high. He's remaining defiant. He says he's not going anywhere. He said he still has work to do as mayor of New York City, though. A lot of his Democratic colleagues and officials, not only in City Hall, not only in Albany, not only on Capitol Hill, they're calling for him to resign. Is he going to, you think? So far, he says he is not going to resign. He has remained uh, uh, defiant, might be the word, or steadfast, uh, maintaining his innocence today. 
telling the judge, I am not guilty. Um, and as you said, the sequence of events, you know, it goes back months, it goes back years potentially uh, in terms of the allegations. But really, this week is where uh, it all came together. Uh, Tuesday is when the indictment was returned, according to the court docket. It, Wednesday is when uh, it was reported, when we reported it, the New York Times, others, uh, that created that sort of groundswell of, of activity around Gracie Mansion. And then Thursday morning, there was an FBI search at Gracie Mansion uh, where they were looking for uh, more material, electronics. Um, and then uh, he was in court today. So really kind of whirlwind, a whirlwind. And at the same time, like you said, there were people uh, asking for him to resign. Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, uh, people that may be challenging him in next year's primary, other city officials. Um, and yet there have been others who have either reserved judgment or not come out and said that he should resign. Uh, those including uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and also the governor, although her statement could be read potentially as you know, really putting the onus on Adams to uh, consider his options and consider his future. Yeah. But as we saw today from him and from his lawyer uh, and how they are going about attacking this case, it, it does seem, um, you know, in other, in other political scandals and other situations, it, you see a very quick move, right? Yeah, for, yeah. for somebody to exit. Um, here, uh, he seems to be... Like, we always hear the, hear the sentiment, like, what are they trying to hide? What are, what are they trying to hide? Like, what is it that's going on? Like you really have to, it really makes you think that you have to pay attention to when people say that when they bring stuff like this to the forefront, what they're trying to hide behind the scenes. You get what I'm saying? Like for all this to be coming out right before the election after multiple assassination tests on both candidates, um, what's really going on behind the scenes? A lot's going to be exposed this year. Cat Williams said it, y'all. Uh, confident that he will be acquitted, that this this case will go away, uh, and that he will be absolved of these allegations. Um, and unless something changes, it, it seems like that's going to be his posture going forward. Okay, yeah, I, I was just putting up this tweet because um, on Capitol Hill we got the AOC call for him to resign. Just today, Jerry Nadler uh, is also calling on him to resign there. He says, there are questions of whether the mayor can continue to effectively lead our city as mayor at this time. My belief is that the mayor has lost the ability to effectively lead the city of New York, and therefore he must resign. Um, so say he does resign, Mike. What does that succession look like? Who's waiting in the wings, so to speak? Who will lead the Big Apple? Because it's not just who's gonna be mayor uh, if Adams goes. It's also all of these other people in Adams's orbit that have been implicated in some way that have kind of fallen under the spell of this scandal from the NYPD to the New York City Public Schools and elsewhere here. How does New York City, how does City Hall get rid of the stench of this scandal? Or is this just the beginning of this story? Yeah, it's a great question. And, you know, to remind viewers, before this indictment, we had those searches in the last few weeks uh, in various investigations swirling around the city, right? You had uh, the police commissioner resign. You had the school's chancellor say he was uh, retiring at the end of the year. You've had other officials who've been uh, you know, suggested as being targets or at least uh, in the web of, of this search in some capacity. And moving forward, just like with a presidential election, a lot of that machinery in city government, it continues regardless of who the mayor is. You know, the trash still gets picked up, but people in these high positions will, will change. Uh, if Adams were to step aside uh, or be removed, immediately the public advocate, uh, Jumani Williams, would become uh, the mayor. Uh, and then there would be an election uh, about three months after that. Um, and there are people lined up for a Democratic Party uh, primary, which would uh, take place next year if if Adams were not to leave office, um, you know, earlier than the end of his term. Uh, he has said he wants to run for re-election. Uh, mayors in New York City can have two consecutive four-year terms. Um, but there is going to be that jockeying, right? So the immediate effect would be the public advocate takes over, and then there would be presumably uh, some of those folks who are already intending to run or running. Uh, throwing their hats in the ring. We've also heard from potentially uh, former Governor Andrew Cuomo. Uh, there's speculation uh, that he may want to run for, for office. Um, 
that may be a few moves ahead uh, and and getting a that lot of speculation <laughs> as, as opposed to, uh, I guess, things that are rooted in announcements and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, that is what I think also has to be in the calculation and the consideration, whether you're the governor thinking about this or Adams or any of these people who may be interested in this job. Um, because as you said, there is uh, this wave of activity. So there you have it, guys. More stuff coming out in regards to Mayor Eric Adam, you know, representative of the Democratic Party. It's been a wild year, man. Like, how, how do y'all feel, man? A lot of this stuff has just been overwhelming, man. It's just been like so many information, allegations, and things coming out one after the other. It's like you don't even really know what to believe anymore. You don't know who's honorable, who's not, especially when it comes to electing leaders and putting people into power. It just got you thinking like, man, what, what's really best for me and my situation, me and my livelihood, me and my family? We're going to continue to follow the investigations, everything that's going on. We might pick up a few new topics. If you are new here, thank you for watching the video all the way through. Appreciate your love and support. Go ahead and subscribe. Drop a comment. Definitely trying my best to reply to everybody. And I appreciate the love and support. Y'all already know what time it is. Let's get it. Let's go. Gang. Take care, y'all.